Two of my favorite planes are the RC Powers MiG-29 version 2 and the MiG-1.44. I made this plane here with the version 2 nose from the MiG-29 uh, and it, both of them are super stable, sleek, fast, and very maneuverable. I wanted to incorporate these two planes into one. So what I did was I took the RC Powers MiG-29 version 2 plan and made a delta wing configuration on the back. So this is essentially a MiG-29 Delta, or like Scott Lott called it, the Delta MiG. I like that name, so I'm going to use it. The Delta MiG weighs 23 ounces. It's got a 32-inch wingspan. Um, uh, I don't remember what the length is. But I'm using the uh, ProDrive 2700 KB motor on here, trying to get over the 90 mile per hour mark with it. And just simple controls, elevons only, with thrust vectoring. All right, so I'm going to try this with no KF airfoils. The um, uh, Delta wing design is very stable as it is, so hopefully it'll be good without anything. If I add something, it'll be probably a KF-4 for speed. Let's see how it does. The breeze just kicked up and it is very stable. Great thrust vectoring. Very maneuverable. Let's do a roll. I've got 40% expos, so it's uh, rolling nice and smooth. Very nice. can't get a good indication of high alpha because of uh, wind, but all right, let's see what it'll do top speed wise. Seventy-eight point five. Ooh, something flew off. The prop flew off. So overall, I'm very happy with the Delta MiG's performance. Until I lost the prop, it was doing pretty well. Um, I'm going to add the KF-4 airfoils for a little bit more speed. It should at least match the uh, MiG-29 in speed, which was 81.6 miles per hour. Today I got a top speed of, let's see, I had a uh, 136 in there, which is wrong, of course. I had a 72.4. I had a uh, 80.8, 78.5, 71.6. So that's when the battery was starting to uh, die down a little bit. But uh, so I should be able to get into the 80s with this once I make some modifications.